Hey, this is Murtza Badri and I would like to help parents in this Alive and Fearless Monday with something which all parents struggle. And me as a father, I have an 11-year-old daughter and an 8-year-old son and it is the same challenge and struggle for me also. And yesterday I happened to kind of handle my son in terms of he not listening to me. And I found one thing very interesting, which kind of was a light bulb moment for me that why are children really tuning out and why are they not listening? I mean, we tell them again and again and again and we tell them politely and we repeat ourselves and we try all means, but they just don't seem to understand or if they do understand, they don't listen, they just tune out. You know, a lot of times children don't even listen for you for more than 10, 15 seconds and they're like, either they're repeating what you are going to say because they're so intelligent, they tell, you know, my son tells me, okay, now you want me to brush my teeth, wear my, uh, you know, night suit and go to bed. And I said, yes. So I found that what is the problem in today's children? And one thing really comes out when we talk about two decades back, my, when I was young and my child, it's technology. It is technology that has changed. And how has technology impacted the children? Very simple the child is bombarded by very high and fast stimulus. They're watching videos, they're playing games, they're, they have these gadgets which are responding at a super fast speed. So they're getting stimulus, they're getting such awesome, creative, you know, media, television, whatever they're watching, and they are getting used to being, used to interesting, exciting, adventurous stuff. And when parents go to the child and say, have you done your homework? You've, you're not eating. You've not kept your, you know, house, your room clean. You know, pick this up. You never listen. And we are repeating ourselves again and again. And we are yelling and we're getting frustrated. The child is really tuning out. So what parents really need to do and what I did and what I, you know, kind of experimented was I tried to feed my child with a different kind of conversation. Getting in his own world, thinking like my child and being more alive and fearless, rather than using the same old yelling routine and repeating and reminding and instructing, I went into his world and I said, hey, let's do this. Let's clean your room. I'm going to help you. And I, with him, along with him, kind of, you know, understood where his challenge is because I saw that the child is really struggling. Today's children though they don't want to disrespect the parents, but they're really confused. They themselves don't know what to do and how to do it. So they really would like the parents to be a partner, a friend, a person who understands the child's world and kind of bees, you know, makes things more interesting. And this also gave me an opportunity to spend a lot of quality time with my son. I kind of uh, engaged with him. I understood what was his challenges, struggles, and I was listening, I was there, I was reminding myself not to repeat any instructions or kind of dominate and control or say, you know, I know I'm your father, but really get into his world. And once I did that, it was more interesting. It was more fun. He changed his entire physiology, his emotions. He was more receptive. He was more listening. He was more like, hey, let's do this. Let's do it together and it'll be more fun. And, you know, we'll find the solution. We'll find a way to do it. So I, I, you know, I said, okay, yeah, this is a problem. So now what is the solution? How can I or we do it together? And that is what really helped me. So I, I hope this really rings a bell with all you parents that technology is really pushing the limits of your children. And we, if you're using the old ways of thinking, feeling, and, you know, interacting with our child, then it's really not going to help make either you more alive and fearless or help your child be more alive and fearless. Uh, if you have any questions regarding this week's Alive and Fearless Monday, post it below the video. I'll be happy to answer them. Stay alive, stay fearless, dream big, stay strong, and I'll see you soon in the next Alive and Fearless Monday.